You're watching the Daily Dodge pregame show. Welcome back here on Daily Dodge TV for another high school bowling production. We are at Tower Lanes for the second leg of our stream today. Called a little audible. We do want to give recognition for the Beaver Dam boys team. They've had a phenomenal season. Hopefully we're able to cover them further in the future. Uh, they took out Watertown by way of 8-1 to one in their regular season finale. But we are going to cover Beaver Dam girls against Lomira because a state title game, well, excuse me, a state appearance essentially is on the line in Ashwaubenon and Green Bay. Corey Sparks with you, Wade Bates as well. Our broadcast brought to you by Columbus Family Dental, Hometown Glass and Improvement in the Beaver Dam Unified School District. It's going to be a great one here today. Some other great partners on board here today, Corey. Absolutely. That includes McKinstry's Home Furnishings, Klodowski Real Estate, Slumberland, Silica for Your Home, Summit Ford, Beaver Dam Mayville Tire and Service, Surefire, Richards Insurance, Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Park Village Shopping Center, Preferred Dental Partners, Jerry's Automotive, Air Care, Napleton GM Beaver Dam, and White Construction. So Columbus takes down this Beaver Dam girls team 7-2, to and now we're on to the postseason, if you will. Yeah, that's exactly it. You know, we have this. So it's Beaver Dam and Lomira here, Corey. Uh, you play best of nine. Yep. So if the team wins five, they're going to a Schwabadon in the state tournament later this spring uh, or winter, I guess you could say. If uh, if they end up being tied 4-4, there's a roll-off. You know, there's a way that if you had a tie and it was 4-4-1, four, yep. four and one, talking to Mike Monheim, there's a roll-off. So Calista Janice's squad, uh, you know, they had a solid effort. And uh, hopefully here against Lomira, you know, they get a W, they're going to state. Yep, so we look at the Division Two standings here. We've got the Lomira girls coming in at 7-6. and six. Coming in today at 7-6, and six. Beaver Dam is coming in at 7-7. Seven and seven. Regardless of what was going to happen, these two are supposed to play with that state appearance on the line. Should be a lot of fun. We can go through the Lomira girls team since we already introduced the Beaver Dam girls. We have Mia Norlin, Abby Alvarez, Delinda Oleg, Lizzie Neal, Alicia Oleg, Jordy Steiner, and Brianna Cooper. And, yeah, Beaver Dam had some nice moments there. Did fall 7-2, to but is looking to really salvage I would say the biggest emphasis is just picking up those spares and going from there. Yeah, you know, and again, you know, you got to get rid of the open frames here today in this one as uh, they face a formidable Lomira and the crowd's into this one, Corey. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is what their season culminates to, Wade. They've got a chance to go to Schwabenon, and if you thought it was loud before, it's, it's going to be magnified here. Lomira will have the first roll. We've got eight. Make it nine. Nice carry. Laper goes right, ready to go for Beaver Dam. Yep, ready bull. So best of nine. You've got to win five, and as Wade brought up before, we have the possibility down the road if we're 4-4, four, four, could get into a roll-off. Uh, this bowler doesn't have her shirt on, so we'll have to figure out who that is. Misses the, this is the eight there. Laper able to get the seven, but a pair of open frames. So a little opening frame jitters here. Nine to nine. Nine nil is that first frame, and then eight one for BD. Here's Neil. Nice. She's got a Brooklyn. Person not in the bowling shirt is Steiner, just so you know, uh, Corey. Gotcha, Steiner. And how do you do? Strike on the other end. Katie Lee. Again, you can feel the intensity in this one, Corey. Oh, yeah. These two teams trading strikes in the second. Here's Alvarez, another southpaw. She leaves the 10. That's Ma gettable. Matches like this are, you mentioned, though, even a pin in the second frame could be the difference. Yeah. I mean, we had a telltale example with that 168, 167 before. We've got a one pin leave here. Yeah, every pin's going to count. And let it be noted, these uh, lanes have not been re-oiled in between, so that wear and tear is just going to continue to drag on. Alvarez picks up her spare right there, get, grabbing the 10. Let's see if uh, Bennett can answer. But she's got the, uh, the, the 9. Yep, looks like it. And that needs to slow down. Oh, it hit a bit too hard. Oleg's going quick for Lomira, and she leaves uh, a couple left. Yep. It's two teams. I think there's a... A bit of eagerness to get out there and get that first frame out of the way for everybody because there was a bit of a pause as the positions were being determined here. So we're on lanes 11 and 12. Oleg again trying to pick this thing up. 
Oh, hits it head on. Hey. Brooklyn. There's Albert with the strike. Two Be strikes in the last three. Bieber's already in through four frames. Vandekalk. Lexi's been fantastic here today. Oh, yeah. It's been holding it down in that 5-10 anchor spot. Oh. Almost got the carry. Left herself the eight pin there to get the spare. And Beaver Dam's got an early lead here. Just keep closing your frames, keep building that momentum, and that lead will expand too. Nice pick up there by Van de Kolk. Confidence, right? As soon as that thing started to turn, she turned her back and she, she knew, knew it was good. Yep, she knew it. She said, I hit my spot. You want to pick a certain spot between those arrows. And uh, again, there's a just of a lane from there. Oleg now with with a spin. Oh, you had, some sp you had spinning oh. pins there. It did not quite. Usually when you see a, a pin flailing around like that, it's a good sign. It can knock everything down around it. But she's got a little work left to do here. 67-65, Beaver Dam up top with uh, a spare out there still. Yeah, expect to see the coaches extra involved here, Wade. Each frame has so much more magnitude to it. Nice pick up. Laper. Go. Remember what I said, Wade, those southpaws, there's not many of them out there, so the left side of that lane isn't going to change much. Laper is going to be dialed in, and she's going to be able to throw the same ball pretty much over and over again. Lefties are going to have the advantage as this thing goes on. There's Katie Lee working off a strike in the sixth. Glides one in there. That's going to bite hard into the pocket. And oh, we have not seen one of those yet today. 7 4, 6 and 10. That's what's left. So, this is the case. Do you need to make sure you get two here? This is where you Corey? take your medicine. Yeah, don't do anything fancy. Um, Probability is pretty low to, to get anything more than two. So, don't, don't risk it. Steiner also left an open frame on the other side for uh, for Lomira. And that's where Beaver Dam's going to look over and go, okay, they've got an open two. Let me just take my two pins and get out of here. That's what Lee will wisely do. That's all you can do. Yep. Here comes Neil for, for Lomira. The Lions. Bennett. That looks good. Oh, that was huge. There's Neil on the other end. She's got the second best spare percentage on this team. She's been able to pick up pretty routinely, but oh, that one bites her. She was coming in hitting 35%. A commanding lead right now for Beaver Dam in this opener. Yep, that strike in the eighth is huge. Mark here in the ninth, and you've got to be feeling pretty good. It's Cameron Albert. Oh, loses her balance. It's not going to be a foul. She didn't go over the line. Like she lost her footing on that transition from the third to the fourth step. I couldn't exactly see. That looks like that's about where things went south. Alvarez trying to get Lomira back into it. She left. Is that three up? Two. Looks like two. Pin counts everything, too. Put yourself in good situations. Get eight, get nine. This should be a gettable spare for Lomira. Nice job by Alvarez. That boy, that that was it that five that slid over? Was it the four that slid over there late? Yep. This would be huge. Oh. oh. 131 to 99. Oleg needs us. Need a mark here. That was huge. You don't want another split. Make it easy on yourself here if you're Myra. You're not out of this. 
especially with that ninth frame being open for Beaver Dam. You're going to need three rolls on the 10th, though. Yeah, that McKinstry's home first, and 10th frame yep. is going to be big here. Yeah, that's really going to loom large. Those are fun, though, when it comes down to the end. Vanda Kolk. She's been consistent all day. Picks up nine. Ole got her spare over there, going to the McKinstry's 10th. Oh, that was important. You need strikes in the McKinstry's 10th here. Vanda Kolk automatic as per usual. That was clutch right there too. Yeah. You've got to extend this 10th frame. This is down to the wire, Wade. 141 to 138. Yep. It's a big roll for Oleg right here. If she can strike, this flips the entire match on its head. It's looking good. That was huge. See what Vanda Colt comes back. She's working off a spare here. She needs 10, doesn't she? Yep, she's got to be thinking X. Perfect balance. That rides in. Oh! She answers. 151 for Beaver Dam in the opener. Just keep it on the lane here. That'll be more than enough. Lomira finishes with 156, takes down Beaver Dam 156, 151. It's a marathon, though. Nine games. We'll head on to game number two, take a 30 second break. This is High School Bowling on Daily Dodge TV, presented by Hometown Glass and Improvement, Columbus Family Dental, and the Beaver Dam Unified School District. The comfort in your home is too important to trust to just anyone. With over 75 years in the industry, Surefire Heating and Air Conditioning is proud to bring our community the heating and cooling services you deserve. Expect nothing short of excellence in service, installation, and 24-7 emergency service. As a premier Lennox dealer, we carry the best in equipment to bring you and your home peace of mind. Schedule your annual maintenance or claim your free in-home estimate today, 920-485-4883. Surefire, keeping what's important comfortable since 1947. Welcome back to Tower Lanes. This is High School Bowling here on Daily Dodge TV, brought to you by Hometown Glass and Improvement, Columbus Family Dental, Beaver Dam Unified School District. Corey Sparks, Wade Bates with you. Elmira takes game one of nine, 156 to 151. Came down to the final ball. Steiner picked up her spare, and uh, Katie Lee working off of a strike in the first frame. Oh, just left that five. And a trip to state on the line here. The winner is going to a Schwabadon. Yeah, wait, if that first game was any indication of what we're going to see throughout these next eight games, I'm excited. That was down to the wire. Neil slid it just to the left of the one pin. Yup. Left one up on the right side. Close early, close early. That's got to be the mentality here. Beaver Dam does just that. There's Neil. Oh. Do you think it's the adrenaline at the pace for this? That first game seemed like it took like five minutes. I think adrenaline has, yeah, an effect on the pace, and some of these girls might start throwing the ball harder. Like, all of a sudden, you understand what's on the line, and instinctively, you just start throwing more power into these shots. Bennett got nine right there for Beaver Dam. Let's see what Alvarez has to answer. Southpaw rides the left side. Beautiful. A fist pump there from Alvarez. No, oh, hold it. It's Beaver Dam's first open. Oleg left the 10. 
This is that tough shot for a righty, especially with the oil wearing off here. Brooklyn. Damn, Albert right there. Big shot from Albert. Oleg's got to try and cover. Yeah, that is not easy. There it is. There's the oil wearing off. It bites at the end. Wade, five games ago, that's a no-brainer. That hits every time. Ball's moving more now. Oh, and Beaver Dam is piling it on. Piling it on. Not going to see a whole lot of individuals sitting down in tower lanes for the next hour, hour and a half. Two sides are into it. They're invested. So that's Delinda Oleg that's throwing right there, just so you know. Gotcha. Alicia is the other one, the taller one. Taller student. Well, she strikes. Last three have been strikes between these two teams. That'll break the streak. That's going to be a tough leave there for Laper. Steiner. Leaves the 10. Kind of a similar feel to that first game. Beaver Dam was out in front until the McKinstry's home furnishings 10th frame, and then all bets were off. Oh, Laper misses it by a hair. That's what, is that two open frames for Beaver Dam here in this, uh, in this second game? It is. And that's three for Lomira. This is where you need someone to get in and just ground you with a spare. A strike's a bonus, but close this frame. No splits, nothing like that. You don't want those. You do not want those. Comes Neal. Oh, that thing rolled left late. You're going to see that miss is on the left for righties now. And for lefties, the miss will be on the right. It's overcooking that pocket. Take your medicine, go for the two here. Oh, went for the conversion. So Lee takes a little gamble. Here's Neil on the other end to respond. It's a close, close frame, excuse me, for Lamira. Another close one, Wade. Heading to the eighth frame for both teams. What, 112, 183? 93's hanging out there for Lomira. Yep, they've got the uh, the most recent spare here. There's Bennett. Bennett left that third frame open. Gonna try and redeem herself here. Got a new ball. Yep, Alvarez. You're gonna see some ball switches too. Almost got the carry. Stubborn, stubborn nine pin. Nice straight spare ball. Pierces the edge. Alvarez nails hers. Wade, you might start seeing this for the, the more, I would say, whoever puts more hook on their ball, they might start throwing their spare ball as their strike ball because they don't want it to spin and hook a whole lot anymore. Here comes Albert working off a spare here in the ninth frame for BD. That was clutch. A strike in the ninth. Here's Oleg with the response. She pumped her fist. Fist pumping everything. Vandekalk, let's see if she has an answer in the McKinstry's 10th. That's on line. Oh. Left the left side open. Four and seven. It favors the righties, especially with it hooking more. Hit your spot. Oleg and Herma Kinstry's 10th. Wow. She's been money here in the 10th through for two games. Seeing these two sides get more and more animated. Vandekulk's got to pick this up to give Beaver Dam a shot. Cold-blooded. Never a doubt. That's what it comes down to again. 162 to 152 with still balls to be... Oleg's got two balls left out there. Vandekloek's got one. Yep, Oleg did this last time. 
put the team on her back and carried him to a victory in game number one. Deep breath here. Good balance, that left a little left. Good pin count, but no strike. Vandekolk. You gotta be thinking 10 here. Oh! So they post the 172. That was clutch, Wade. Second one stays. Beaver Dam takes game two. 172 to 169. Five pin margin in the first game, three pin margin in the second. We'll head on to game three. This is high school bowling here on Daily Dodge TV, presented by Hometown Glass and Improvement, Columbus Family Dental, and the Beaver Dam Unified School District. At Summit Ford Beaver Dam, we are committed to serving the customers in our community, to bringing you into our dealership and making the buying process easy, fun, stress free, and memorable. Thank you for choosing us and voting us Dodge County's best place to buy a new or used vehicle. Stop in today for a test drive and to see how we can help you find the car of your dreams. Summit Ford Beaver Dam. Welcome back to Tower Lanes. Game three between Lomira and Beaver Dam is upon us and it starts with a pair of strikes. Albert and Steiner yep. both coming to play. The tone setters. A spot at State on the line here in Ashwaubenon. Here comes Neal. She left that one way left. Just looking for pin count here. They both split their first two. Lomira took the opener, 156-151. 172-169 in game two to BD. Back and forth so far. Little rubber match here. Who's going to take the lead going into game four? Raya Sutton. That's a pretty straight ball. That's going to work in these conditions. A double. Doors open for Beaver Dam right here after Lamira posted a seven. It is building off two strikes. Even if you can just close here in the third frame, sitting pretty a third of the way home. Here's Alvarez going to get ready to go for. Coach Janice says everybody take a deep breath here and pause for boys for Beaver Dam. Yep, lefties have the advantage here. Remember that lane's not wearing down. And Alvarez comes through in the clutch. Lee. Oh. Got six. Two, four, five, and seven for Lee, it looks like. I think the adrenaline's worn off a little bit here from those first uh, couple of games. Teams are starting to look at each other, calm down a little bit. They're still getting fired up, but they're choosing their moments. This is like a mini strike. You want to hit that little pocket between the two and the five. Or do that. Just hit it head on. <laughs> Whatever gets it done. Ebola can answer with a spare here. It's got to hang on. She got the seven, but left one on the board. Strike, strike, nine spare. That's the start for the Golden Beavers here. Can't ask for too much better. See if they can keep the uh, Mark Rain trolling. Oh, train rolling. Oh, that's going to be tough. And Lafer's going to have some work to do right here. This is where you test your accuracy. That's Oleg. a response. Oleg's good money. That's who they're going to be able to hang their hat on at the end of today. Alice. Been performing so far, and every chance she's gotten, she's shown up. See what Laper's got. At the very least, you want pin count. Two would be great, three, phenomenal. Coming from the left, is this a little easier? Tiny bit. You've got room to operate, but she left it out wide. You've got room to hook the ball, so it should have been a little, but a high pressure filled situation here. The left Steiner. Left two. Steiner really wants to cover here, working off that strike. 
Is Van Nicole. Oh! Wade against Columbus, first like few games. Van de Kolk would just kind of turn around and smile when she got a strike. Now a ticket to State's on the line. She's turning around and yelling. She's getting more animated. Everybody in the whole place is getting animated. I yep. think the, the extra people here are all watching this match as well. Oh, yeah. Knowing what's at stake. People in the, in the alley at Tower Lane. Oh, yeah. Appreciate them hosting <laughs> us here today. Absolutely. Well, 81-80 is what's on the board right now. Oh, that's what the Beavers strike sitting out there. Absolutely. Just Albert strike here would be huge. I'm talking breaking this thing pretty wide open huge. Oh, a nine will work. This is a three nine leave for Lomira. Hit this one head on and carry it through both. Oh. Left the nine. But a 10-pin lead right now on the, with the with the uh, with the spare out there. Are the strike still working on? Yep, and you build you build yourself up a, a potential for a double to lead off the seventh frame here if you can cover. So 10 pins, but it could be a lot more depending on what BD does here. Another eight. It's Alvarez. Yeah, this is a big spare. The coach talking her through it. How much pressure do you, this is big time pressure, isn't it? When you talk about individual pressure in a team sport. Oh yeah, my favorite, favorite quote in this situation is just be where your feet are. Do the same thing you've done probably about 18, 20, 22 times now today. Go up, hit your spot and walk away like a boss. That's what the mentality has got to be like Alvarez did right there for Lomira. Yep. So they've got that spare now going into the ninth. Beaver Dam really taking their time here. Albert after that long conversation. Oh, left it wide. Missed her spot. We're 99s on the board right now. Yep. Here's Oleg. She has been electric. If there's anyone to will her team back in, it, it's both Oleg. The, both the Oleg. It's either Oleg. Yeah, <laughs> they're going back to back too. Come on, Ryan, you got this. Oleg squared. Raya Sutton. That is perfect. The entire way. Here comes Oleg again. Not the best leave. I love in bowling alleys on the video screen when you've got a split like this, they'll show you a picture and say, this is where you want to hit it, by the way. Like, oh, thank you. Easier said than done. But <laughs> still, so, nice note. Wow. Lee, Lee. The fist pump. Oh, like, just looking to cover here. Extend the game. She got it. Yep, that was important. That was a perfect ball, wasn't it? It was. Just like the picture. We're gonna, that's in the McKinstry's 10th right there. Oh, yep. Yeah, Beaver Dam's taking their time here. This is for a turkey. And hey, you know, slow and steady wins the race sometimes. If there was ever a time to throw three X's together, it would have been right there. Oleg gets nine, leaves the seven. Boy, she had the nine right there. It was spinning pretty yep. good. And I thought it was going to catch the seven on the way by, and it didn't. It's close. Beaver Dam's already got this covered. Lomira finishes at 148. This is just for morale's sake. And who would you rather have up there? She misses the 10, but. For the McKinstry's 10th frame for Beaver Dam. These are good feelings, Wade, because the game's in hand. So Vandicole can kind of just strategize here and talk to her coach about how the lane's responding and know, hey, if I mess up, you know, outside of pin count, there's not too much at stake here. And of course, her own fill percentage. But there's her spare ball. Kind of a little experimental throw. Is that going to work for me? Okay, it didn't work there. Not much at stake at all, though. 186, 148. That's the score of the third game. Beaver Dam takes over the lead. Two to one. We'll move on to game four. High School Bowling on Daily Dodge TV, presented by Hometown Glass and Improvement, Columbus Family Dental, and the Beaver Dam Unified School District.
Hey, it's Stacy with Slumberland, Beaver Dam in Watertown. Stop in and see everything that our store has to offer. We built it just for you. We have mattresses, box springs, power bases, bedroom sets, furniture, living room sets, dining sets, everything that you would need to complete your entire home. We've got our interest-free financing and a really great local staff here to help you. So you've got all local people here to help you out from start to finish for anything that you would need. So stop in, shop local, and save big with us. We're back here on Daily Dodge TV. High school bowling between Beaver Dam and Lomira. A shot at the state tournament on the line. Beaver Dam's up 2-1. to one. Here's Steiner for Lomira. Albert striked on her first throw. Nice. Yep, so Albert's got the X there. Steiner's got the spare. Clean start for both sides. Needs the five. Everyone staying hydrated. Are you staying hydrated, Corey? I am. I've been drinking water. <laughs> Maybe not enough. So invested into this, but I'm drinking here and there. One eighty six to one forty eight was the score of that last game. One eighty six, the highest mark either side has thrown up so far. And Beaver Dam keeping the train moving. It's Brianna Cooper there, uh, Corey. Gotcha. Here's Katie Lee. Hooks it in nicely. Oh, double fist pump. Uh, Beavers are heating up here in game number four. Alvarez leaves the seven, and that's the tough one for lefties. You don't have that lane to work with on your arm side. There's Laper. This is left on the pocket, but not the worst leave in the world. Three to go. Alvarez, tough, tough angle. It's warm in this in this uh, in this alley here today, isn't it? <laughs> Everybody's feeling it. It's heating up. Alvarez just heating up with a strike. Uh, Lamira needed that. Oh yeah. Her pick up there. I think she got the oh, seven. Pick up, yes. Still important though. Ibrahim trying to make it four marks in a row. Uh, Cannot. As soon as Laper threw that, she heard the groan. She knew that yeah. she Lexi, was a little off. She did not like that ball. The head pin left by Oleg here. Two teams have caught up to each other. Well, Myra was about two frames ahead of Beaver Dam towards the end of that last game, but it didn't matter. Beaver Dam just kept striking. Oh, almost the carry. It's Oleg. Oh, hard luck there. Heartbreak. That was a quick bite at the end of that. I think she thought she had that covered. So a pair of open frames in the fourth. Beaver Dam's got the lead here. And Nicole rode the gutter for about two and a half seconds but converted. From one Oleg to another, she leaves the nine. Elmira looking to match that spare from Beaver Dam about 30 seconds ago. Halfway through, this is going down to the wire again. It is. Game and number four. Three to one's a whole lot different than two to two, so Elmira kind of at their backs against the wall here. Oleg turned around and said, that's on me. Yep. Taking accountability, that's an important part of the game, and, and it's tough, right, Wade? Individual sport, but it's also a team sport in this format. Yeah! Oh, that was huge. Albert with a big strike, and Beaver Dam pulling away here, at least giving themselves some space. Steiner. Not so fast, yep. That's the response you need. A streak starts with one. 
That's the mentality Lamira's got to have right now. If there's a time to get hot, it's right now. See if Beaver Dam has the answer, though, that's the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. Cooper's going to throw, though, first. Good pin count. Missed the pocket, but got some good carry. Oh, that was important. You don't need a 5-7 split. Brand new furnace at Tower Lanes, we were told here today, and it's definitely working, right? <laughs> yeah. then you have They're cranking it. There's body heat in here, too, and a lot of when it. You have people shoehorned in. Cooper did her job. Oh, yeah. Cooper with the key conversion there. It's a little easier for righties, but it's no given. That's about as good as you can draw it up. Comes Katie Lee. Crossed over and got nine. Alvarez looking to pick up the split. Ooh, that's going to make it real hard for Lemire to get back into this now. Especially if Lee can pick up this middle pin. Just throw the same ball you threw the first time. That's what a lot of coaches will say here because it's down the middle. Just hit that same pocket, just like that. Carbon copy. Opens up a huge gap here heading into the ninth frame. Beaver Dam's got their sights set on a three to one lead. There's Oleg. Overcompensated for the, uh, the oil pattern wearing down there. No, wait, I'm just thinking, like, it's no secret. Both of these teams knew going into this, a ticket to state is on the line. How do you think these coaches kind of grounded their players? Yeah. like? How do you take that pressure off? That's a lot of pressure. We've been in this situation before, good teams, and let's see what Laper has to say. All right. Ooh. That nine off a of spare, though, still, you know, pin count. Yeah, she hit her spot, too. Now, this is that tough pin for lefties. Oh, like misfires. You know, this is one of those things like in tennis, for example. Lomira's got to think about it. Yeah, you lost a set maybe 6-2, mm. you know, but you have to come back and you have another one to play. Yeah, you've got to wipe the slate clean. That was perfectly carved up the left side. My goodness. McKinstry's 10th. The Beaver Dam comfortably on top. Well, let's wait and see, right? Here we are. Yep. And Nicole coming in. She's been the closer all day. Gets eight there. For the sake of mathematics, Beaver Dam's got this one locked up, but momentum is key. It's a good tennis comparison, Wade, because this match is not over, but this set or this game is. Myra will wrap up with a 127. Vanicole gutters one down the right side. 168, 127, a bit more of a slugfest, but Beaver Dam capitalizes. They are up three to one. We head to game five, high school bowling on Daily Dodge TV, presented by Hometown Glass and Improvement, Columbus Family Dental, and the Beaver Dam Unified School District. Hi, I'm Josh Schneider with Silica for Your Home. We have a great feature available in our showrooms, our digital price tags. They search the internet every day and allow us to adjust the prices based on our competitors. That ensures you are always getting the best deal. If it finds a lower price, it will automatically change our silica price in real time. These digital price tags are all about saving you time and money. Shop silica for your home for the best sales, service, and selection.
Welcome back to High School Bowling on Daily Dodge TV and welcome back as we enter game five with a strike. That was Albert. And a response from Steiner. Three to one is the advantage for Beaver Dam. Best of nine, Baker's style here. Each player bowls two frames. The momentum feels like it's with Beaver Dam, but you said before, Wade, it's kind of a marathon. They could easily swing back towards Lamira here. Cooper has an answer here for Lomira. He oh, does. That was huge. That was huge. Nothing like starting your team off with a double here. You don't want to be, fall behind 4-1 here. This is a must win for Lomira. Yeah, you don't want to put yourself in a spot where the only scenario where you leave here going to state is winning four in a row. Break up the wealth a little bit. Win this fifth game. Ground yourself and move on. We've got Shake It Off playing. It's all right with me. <laughs> Nothing to shake off there. I wonder how many of these are requests. <laughs> One of the teams goes up. <laughs> oh! Alvarez. That's three in a row. What, what an answer here for You mentioned momentum for Lomira. Yep, the Swift playlist is working. I think Lomira requested this song. Turkey to start. Beaver Dam just looking to keep covering. Wait for that mistake. Steve Ola can make it four in a row. This would be something. Quite a way to bounce back from a 127 game. Does a little curtsy, and she's got some work to do. There's Katie Leap. Hit this one in the heart. A little like that. See, Bolig's got some magic here. Yeah, he got a little lead here. Maybe she gets creative and tries to turn it. She was going to take her medicine, but she missed it altogether. Here, say sorry, guys. Taking accountability for that one. As soon as she threw it, she knew she threw the head the field goal. Yeah, put her put both of her hands up. Yeah, you know, she said, well, that's what was accomplished on this one. Still have an 81-46 lead, but Beaver Dam has a spare open on this throw. Oh! Oh, how does that pin not fall down? If screams could knock a pin over, that one would have fell. Everyone was yelling at it. Goodness. That's just mockery. Oleg's got eight here, too. Even them boys are up 2-0 on the other lane. Yeah, they're having a nice day at the office today. Took down Watertown 8-1 in their first match. Just how you draw it up. Beaver's trying to make a comeback, and Oleg picked this one up. Got to cover that 9 behind. Perfect. Perfect by Oleg. Beaver's trying to keep closer, get inch a little bit closer here. It's still a margin. Coming off spares, need a big number. Yep, that turkey at the beginning is the difference right now. Beaver Dam's marked more often. They're four for four, but they need some strikes or just hope Lamira slips up. That one almost off the lane, and it came almost all the way back. On that final board, Wade, we almost saw a gutter. Steiner came back with a seven off... Uh, off the spare. And Beaver Dam kind of whittling away at that lead, just hanging around. No mistakes yet. You need some X's on the board, don't you, if you really want to come back on the back end of this uh, game, match? In this game you do, it looks like. Van de Kolk. Oh. That's the first open frame for Beaver Dam. Steiner opens as well. A 26 pin difference right now though. Yep, both are open, so no doubles to work off of or anything. Come start your own mark streak here. Albert's been hot here as of late. Yeah, she's been catching fire the last couple games. This one rides up the right side, tucks in close, and she knocks all 10 down. See if Cooper has the answer. It's looking good. 
Oh, everything but the seven. That's where you make up ground. I well, never saw the pocket. Good carry, though. Ended up with nine? Yeah. A couple dominoes fell. Cooper. Got the whole right side to work with your hook here. Just make sure you don't swing it too wide. And she pulled it left. It almost skipped over. <laughs> almost got the rebound. <laughs> the door's open a little bit now for the Golden Beavers. It is. Cover, cover, cover. Do what you've done all game. Oh, costly mistake. Working off the strike. Lead is now down to seven, though. That strike helped a lot. Essentially, you just got to play the better three frames now. It's almost even. Alvarez got nine on her first throw. It's Katie Lee. Someone who, just like Van de Kolk, was pretty quiet and about her business the first half of today. She's starting to get more animated. She knows what's on the line. Passion's coming through. See if she can come through here in the eighth. Rides up the right side, looking for the pocket. Finds it and leaves two. Alvarez. Pulls that one to her right side. Oleg's going to throw her ninth frame. The Beavers aren't done with their eighth yet. Yep. Well, Myra, working a little quicker. They don't want to sit on these things. Lee took a good 30 seconds to kind of talk that one through. Door is definitely open if she can finish this thing. Oh, yeah. that was huge, Wade. You're right. You are right about that. Pressure's on Oleg now. You've got to close this frame. Oh, oh, tough break. She threw a good ball. You saw the Beavers all of a sudden. Look at this now. It's 134-119. Uh, Beavers have one more frame to throw. Oh, my. If there was ever a time for Laper to come through with a clutch strike, that was it. Beaver Dam's in the driver's seat now. And Oleg takes it right back. So that's the first in the McKinstry's 10th frame for uh, Oleg and Lomira. I don't know how this is going to end. We don't know. There's, what, five throws left potentially? There is. Each one has more magnitude than the last. Van searching for the pocket and finds it. That's the biggest yell she's let out yet. There, McKinstry's 10th, home furnishing's 10th frame starts out great. We've got a battle here. That's what it's about. State appearance on the line. You're getting the best out of these two sides. Here's Oleg. Can she answer? She keeps it rolling. Wow. Cream of the crop here. And Nicole, your turn. She leaves two. We'll let the math work out here for a second. We'll let the computers do the math, right? <laughs> right. Van de Kolk's going to let Oleg go first. She picks up seven. So that finishes them up at 160. Lomira up at 161. One seventy-seven, one sixty-one. It took every bit from Beaver Dam in that McKinstry's home furnishings tenth frame. We will head on to game number six, high school bowling on Daily Dodge TV, presented by Hometown Glass and Improvement, Columbus Family Dental, and the Beaver Dam Unified School District. Happy New Year from our family to yours at Reed Chrysler Dodge Sheep Ram and Beaver Dam. Now let's celebrate with the Start of Something New sales event featuring 15% off in-stock 23 Grand Cherokees and Dodge Durangos. That's up to $9,400 in savings on the best SUVs in the market. 
Last call for the iconic Hemi engine on the classic Dodge Charger and Challenger with three grand off brand new Charger Daytonas and the hard to find Sublime Green Challenger Scat Pack for under 55 grand. Let our family take care of your family at Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Beaver Dam and ReedChrysler.com. Welcome back to High School Bowling here on Daily Dodge TV. Corey Sparks, Wade Bates here presented by Hometown Glass and Improvement, Columbus Family Dental in the Beaver Dam Unified School District. You're watching Beaver Dam girls against Low Myra and Beaver Dam out with a 4-1 to one lead. Going into game six. You win this. You win your fifth game and you're headed to state in the Schwabadon. Yep. So Beaver Dam staring down the chance to get into Green Bay. Both teams had spares in their first frame. Comes Cooper. A little extra English on that one. Yeah! Big time players make big time plays. That was a clutch strike in frame number two, and Beaver Dam has cleared 175 in two of the last three games. We're starting to see why. They're closing everything right now. Cooper closed out that frame. Lomira needed that. Not two clean games on both sides so far. Good pin count. Avoids the split. Lee's got a shot to close. Alvarez been dangerous so far. She continues. Yeah! Clean pickup by Lee. You can tell the excitement's coming because the camera is shaking from people yeah. uh, pounding on the on the uh, on the desk. We've got movement here. I love it. Everyone's into it. Riley Tesh thought they were cheering for her, but everybody was cheering for Marley later. <laughs> Here's Oleg. <laughs> it's got to come back. It does. Beaver's working off a spare here. Laper, two strikes in a row for Laper. Had one to end game five, has one to kick off the and first that, half of game six. Pushed Beaver Dam into a one pin lead here with the strike and a spare out on the board. We can see some high scores here, Wade. This is a phenomenal start for both sides. Oleg keeps it going. Yeah, these could get high. Teams are heating up. Amanda Kolk. Has the answer. It's getting loud in here. Ten marks and ten frames between these two teams. Steiner kicks off the second half. <laughs> and picks up right where her teammates are leaving off. 11 for 11. Goodness. And when got wide, came back. That seven pin, mockery over there. It's teasing everybody. There's Cooper working off a double. She had a nine spare back in the second. Goes Brooklyn, and pretty easy leave there. Just throw the same ball. Well, Myra's not going down to let a fight, right? Not they at all. They want to extend this thing to another. This is what it's about. You are bringing the absolute best out of each side. Beaver Dam wants to slam the door and leave no doubt. Lamira wants to live to see another game. Two teams will play nine games for individual purposes. There's the first leave we've seen. See what Cooper can do with this one. This is big. Door's open for her if she wants it. Throws a perfect ball. Lamira's clean through seven. Three strikes, four spares, and they've got a lead. Yeah! 
crossover ah. strike. Little Riley Brooklyn. Riley Tesh wanted the cheers for Carly, but she got it right here. She's or earning for Marley, it. Marley, I should say. <laughs> earning her for stripes Marley, and she got the cheers there. Marley and Riley. That helped Beaver Dam. Lomire Lowe, see if they have the Alvarez. Action. Wow. Two of the best in the area going at it. This is this is something. Well, Myra's playing lights out right now. Beaver Dam trying to keep tempo. Oleg in the ninth, Oleg in the tenth. That's way wide. Misses the pocket altogether. This is the first split that Lil Myra's seen here in game six. A little bit of a, a crease here for Beaver Dam to get back into this. Got to pick this one up, though. Yeah, you got to clean. Oh. Missed opportunity. These two teams might just be trading opens, but don't count Oleg out. She might have her sights on a conversion here. We'll see what angle she takes. She's going for it. Oh. Valiant effort. You've got the lead to do something like that. 174 to 145. Going into the ninth. Lamira's going to the 10th, uh, McKinstry's 10th frame. Yep. It's for you to take maybe that extra deep breath. It's Laper, been heating up lately. It's a nice nine. Here's Oleg, it's been electric. Can she keep it going? Now would be the time to do it. And she's made for these moments. Well, Myra's got their sights set on a 200 game, possibly. Laper, I'm gonna finish up. Left that one wide. This game's here for the taking. Oleg's just gotta keep it on the lane. Nice nine. What a response by Lomira. Backs against the wall. They put together the best game we've seen so far in this series. Van de Kolk. Bring the momentum shift now here. You can just see, kind of feel each team. You know, Beaver Dam now. Little reserved. Yeah, it was a quick shift too, Wade. I feel like by the time we got to the sixth or seventh frame here, Beaver Dam let up a little, and Lomira has not. Oleg, automatic as per usual. Wow. about a 194 response. Van de Kolk's got one ball left, but this one's going to Lomira. Saying not so fast. It's gonna make it four to two. This one's to steal a little bit of that momentum back. Give your team a feel good roll going into game seven. It's out in the way. Crossover, gets nine. That's going to be 194 to 173, the highest scoring affair we've seen yet. Lamira bites back. It's 4 to 2, Beaver Dam. This is high school bowling on Daily Dodge TV, presented by Hometown Glass and Improvement, Columbus Family Dental, and the Beaver Dam Unified School District. In today's financial markets, you will find all your needs met at Park Village Shopping Center. Time is right for a home equity line of credit. The folks at Horicon Bank can make those home remodel dreams a reality. Searching for sound financial advice? Kevin Smith of Edward Jones will help you make sense of your investments. Kevin knows the market inside and out. Knightberry Title meets all your title needs, from commercial to residential. The team at Knightberry is your partner for success. This is why you hear people say, I shop Park Village Shopping Center. You should too. Park Village Shopping Center. Welcome back to Tower Lanes. This is High School Bowling on Daily Dodge TV. A ticket to Eschwabanon for State. On the line between Beaver Dam and Lomira. Beaver Dam up 4-2. Lomira took game six, 194-173. Corey Sparks and Wade Bates with you for this one. Steiner cleans house. That 194 posting by Lomira Wade, that's the best game we've seen yet from either yeah. team. They tickled 200 there. Yeah, they were flirting with it for a bit, and all of a sudden, like you kind of said, the momentum, the morale, it's all on the side of Lomira at the moment. Beaver Dam's got to remember, they've got a two-game lead, one more, and they're heading out of here. Yeah. 
Cooper. They always say in sports, so when you have the two-game or two-point lead, that's always the most dangerous lead around. 3-1 comes to mind. Yep. And then you end up, all of a sudden, it becomes uh, it becomes 4-3, uh, and then you're like, uh-oh. You're like, wait a minute. This next one's to keep it from going to a, a do-or-die scenario. Yeah, this one's arguably bigger than the last now. So Myra's cooking with a seven spare and a strike. Here comes Alvarez. She crosses over and misses two. Big roll here to pick this up. Not much margin for error. Oh, that's just a tough break. Coach Janice staying really reserved, trying to calm her squad down. Alvarez with the key pickup on that split. They've got uh, a, well, Beavers are a frame behind, but it's 50 to 23 right now. Let's see if Katie Lee can get a strike and close the gap. You need something for your team to get excited about here. That almost did it. That's a good nine. Big thing here is just keep morale up. Regardless of the score, you know you're up 4-2. If you're Beaver Dam, and if you are Lomira, what just ride the high wave right now. They have been automatic the last game and a half. 194, and they follow it up here. Cooking with 70, working off a strike. Not even in the fifth frame yet. And now they will be. Lee. That 10 pin. It's not an easy one. Show some control here. Easy. Made it look easy. Here's Oleg. Oh. The Lomira fans are ready to explode on that one. That <laughs> Oleg was ready to jog back, yep. Lomira's in that motive. Let's give it our all. Why not? We've got to win out. Might as well do it having fun in the process. They're playing loose. There's the first open. Still smiles on the side of Lamira. They're working with a good lead. Laper trying to close the gap. A strike would be huge here. Got some work to do here. Yeah, picks up six. six. Appreciate the Beaver Dam Unified School District being a part of the broadcast. Check their school board meetings out at bdusd.org. So sports at dailydodge.com. If you'd like to email us, we will shout your message out on the stream. Email us at sports at dailydodge.com. It's a tough shot for a lefty. If there was ever a time for a timeout in bowling, I feel like Beaver Dam would want to take it here. You're facing a big deficit, and Lomira's just rolling. Here in game seven. Yeah. Oh, they doubled up. Almost. Oh, more than that now with that spare. I understand. How do you, what, do you, what are your math grades? <laughs> C's get degrees in math. Yeah. Call it Mr. Winker. And Nicole hits the pocket a little heavy, leaves two. 98-55 with Cooper throwing in the seventh for Lamira. Now if you're Lamira, it's just keep closing them. We could spare out and probably feel pretty good. That's probably the mentality over there. Beaver Dam, you've got to be in attack mode. You need tens. That ten took a couple tries, but it works out. Coach Janice saying, let's go. This is our time. It's the time to show out here. Cooper just said it was my time in Lomira's lane and <laughs> finished off that spare. They're sitting at 117. Yeah, putting up another one. They could be around the 180, 190 range again if they keep this up. If there was ever a time where Beaverdam needed a strike, it was here. Oh! Maybe that's the one that starts it. Long way to go, though, especially with the way Lomira's been bowling. Alvarez looked a little confused there. She thought she threw a good ball. One 
131-77 right now. That tucks in nicely. Oh, left the five. Sutton, here comes Alvarez again. She picks this one up. See all she wrote here in the game. Yeah, might just be. Well, Myra is not blinking. Just one open frame through eight so far. Beaver Dam starting to get their footing, keep some pace. It's Oleg. No sign of looking back. Well, Myra trying to make it four to three and make this match very interesting. Katie Lee. Beaver Dam just looking to get a feel for the lanes right now. Everyone's been hitting heavy, crossing over. Oleg in the McKinstry's 10th. Wow, 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 wow. We talked about the concept of a roll off a couple of hours ago, Wade, and it didn't look like it was in the cards when it was four to one, but we're on the cusp of four to three now. Beaver Dam's got to block out that other lane and just take care of business, get out of this game, and wipe the bingo card clean. Here's Oleg again. She got nine. Yep, almost got ten. There's a pin rolling back behind. Marley, the ninth frame for Marley Laper. For They're in the ninth still. Oleg. Her last ball of the game. Had it the whole way. How about a 193 to follow up a 194? There's Laper, again, starting the ninth for Beaver Dam. So, well, Myra's going to get a little break here. Sometimes you just tip your cap, right? Sometimes you just get beat. <laughs> I mean, Lomira puts up 127 in game four, 161 in five, and then We've got a 194, 193. That's just it. Tip your cap to what's going on <laughs> over in Lomira land right now. Beaver Dam's got to be thinking, let's start a 12-frame run. Let's finish strong here, clean house next game. And for Lomira, too, they're going to have a little bit of a break here, so maybe their momentum... They probably, want, they probably want to start the next game, don't they? they want They're to eager, up. yep. You might have a little unintentional icing going on here, right? You're pausing them for two to three minutes. Here's Van de Kolk. I'm going to get back on the right track. Finds the pocket yeah! and the strike. There we go. Give your team something to yell about. I think that's the biggest key here in this 10th frame. This McKinstry's home furnishing 10th frame. Give your team something to yell about and be the louder group going into, into game eight. Yeah, well, Myra's looking like you're going to have to bowl at 200 if you want to beat the caliber of bowling they're playing right now. And this isn't going to be a bad game, Wade. Like, they're going to put together a good number. It's just, well, Myra's playing nearly perfect from a team perspective. Another one, Vandicole. Beaver Dam has not opened since the fourth frame. They're going to put up a nice score here. This is their ace. She's done it all day. Van de Kolk. Hits the head pin head on. Counts up eight. 193 to 170. Lomira. Rushing back, we'll take a 30-second break here on Daily Dodge TV. This is High School Bowling presented by Hometown Glass Improvement, Columbus Family Dental, and the Beaver Dam Unified School District.
When it comes to a winning lineup, turn to the selection of new and pre-owned vehicles at Napleton GM in Beaver Dam. Their team goes the extra mile to provide a winning experience from hassle-free financing options to exceptional customer service. It's like having a dedicated cheering section cheering you on in every step of the vehicle purchase. Give the team at Napleton GM in Beaver Dam a call at 920-885-3301 or visit napleton151.com and find new roads with their winning inventory. Welcome back to High School Bowling on Daily Dodge TV here at Tower Lanes, presented by Hometown Glass and Improvement, Columbus Family Dental, Beaver Dam Unified School District. Cameron Albert strikes, and Jordy Steiner opens with a nine. I want to apologize to those two. We have not been catching their rolls because it's just ready bowl here. They're going quick. They've been getting caught in our breaks for their first frames. Yeah, they, they keep her going here. Except I, I thought Lemire probably wanted to start that this seventh, this ninth or eighth game, I should say, after they finished that quick, eighth, right? At seven. So four to three. It's best of nine. Beaver Dam was up four to one. Lemire put themselves in the spot where they got to win four straight. They're halfway there. Nice start for Beaver Dam, though. A strike and one of the more convertible splits on the board here. Cooper didn't uh, roll in like the first or second game, I think, and she's come on strong here in the second half of this one. Yeah. It's oh. my fault. It's my fault. Whenever you see that ball bounce a few times, that's a timing drop. I jinxed her there, Corey. Yeah, in other words, that was Wade's fault. That was my <laughs> fault. <laughs> All right. Doors open for the Beavers if they can... Alvarez went right up, and again, Lamira's is a ready bowling squad. Yeah, Lamira's having the mentality of, look, if you're not ready, I am. I, I want to keep this up-tempo pace going. Sutton will go, her second. This will be huge. Oh, game of inches, Wade. Lamira's got to clean up their act, though. No margin for error, still down four to three, and they've got two open frames. Alvarez, can she take care of these three? Looking to right the ship for this team. Oh, that thing oh. took a right turn late as well. She looked like she liked it off her hand. Three straight open frames. Maybe that little break they had to take you know, did affect them, their momentum a little bit. Yeah, this team likes to play fast. This one crosses way over the pocket. But Beaver Dam's got to take advantage though, right? At the very least, exactly, Wade. You need some spares here. Three straight open frames is a wide open door. And it's not going to be open for very long if we look at how lamira has been playing today. This is where you capitalize, you jump, and you try and steal a win here in game number eight. Beaver Dam wins game number eight. They are heading to a Schwabanon in the state tournament. Two teams both came in today with seven match wins. So it was in the cards when they showed up to Tower Lanes that they'd run into each other in this round. That was a big spare for Lee. Oleg finishes up the fourth frame already for Lomira. I think they're in a spot where they're saying, look, we're going we're gonna to play these ten frames at our pace. We'll see what the score is at the end of it, and hopefully we hang around for game nine. Oleg. Tucks that one in nicely. Oh, ten pin hung around. Wow, the late carry on the 10. And boy, did they need it. Give Beavers a little bit of energy. Let's see what Oleg can do if she can finish that. Yep. That started to turn left and I got a little nervous. <laughs> Said oil, it's probably not really there anymore. You're, if you could throw infrared on here, you'd see a lot of streaks on the lane right now. 58-54, Beavers are working with a strike, though. Danicole did everything right, but left the seven. There's Steiner. Looking for a Brooklyn. She does not get the carry. Oh, yeah. Got Eye of the Tiger going here. I think that matches the moment. 
both of these teams throwing their seasons on the line here. In lanes 11 and 12. Van de Kolk finishes with a nine spare. Halfway home is Beaver Dam. Costly open frame. There's Steiner. Cam Elbert's throwing some big balls today, and there's no bigger than right now. Oh, yeah. This is a crucial moment. Oh, the carry. That could have been that could have been ugly, Wade. I think should be thankful for nine, but almost had ten. Cooper. Almost the same leave. Well, Myra, you lay it all out on the line here. Obviously stay level-headed, but you're thinking strikes. Oh! There's a window for Lomira if they can cover here. They're feeling good about that. And down to the seventh frame for Beaver Dam, the eighth for Lomira here, Raya Sutton. Wait, you got to feel like whoever can get the next strike here spikes their chances of winning this. Close. Alvarez. She's got the next strike. This might come down to the McKinstry's home furnishings, 10th frame. Not to project too early, but we are neck and neck here. Another costly error. What does Oleg have in the bag? Nine count. This is the ninth frame for Lomira. Beaver Dam's in their eighth frame, so keep that in mind when you see the scores. Two great local teams competing here. Oh, yeah. Lomira well, working off back-to-back 190-pluses. -back Oleg might have put too much on that. Oh, she just got it. That hung on for dear life. They're going to the McKinstry's 10th. This is going to come down to the two anchors. One way or another. Katie Lee looking to clean up. That was big. Oleg goes right after her. McKinstry's 10th. As soon as she threw that, she wasn't happy with it. Put both hands on her heads, turn around looking frustrated. This is it. Well, if Oleg doesn't clear this and get the extra ball, it's really going to get interesting here as Beaver Dam and Marley Laper throw would, their ninth. Yeah, I would say this bowl is their their season for Lomira Wade. You've got to clean this up. And that's exactly what she does. Oleg has ice in her veins. Yeah, she didn't react there either. She said, job's not finished. I've got another ball to roll. Laper leads the seven. Beaver Dam's got that extra frame still. They're in the ninth. Oleg, pin count is everything here. Crosses over. Looking for a little luck, and she gets it. So they posted a 149 going to the, the tenth. And a miss on the seven. All right, the math is easy here, Wade. 17 pins. That's what Van de Kolk needs to send her team to a Schwabenau. A mark and some pin count. For the anchor on this team, first ball for her. She's got eight. If she can clear this, Wade, seven pins, and Beaver Dam goes to state. Van de Kolk 
has covered 77% of her frames this year. One of the best rates in this building. It's the biggest one yet. Never a doubt. All right, 149, 143. Beaver Dam's down six, do the math. Van de Kolk needs seven on one roll to send her team to state. Beaver Dam's been taking their time all day. They've been kind of the slower of the two teams. One bowl to make it to state. Van de Kolk rides up into the pocket. She needs seven, she got eight. Beaver Dam, you are going to a Schwabenon. 151, 149 in game eight. BD grabs the fifth and determining game of this one off the right hand of Van de Kolk. We'll step aside for a 30 second break. Gotta do game nine still for individual stats. This is high school bowling on Daily Dodge TV presented by Hometown Glass and Improvement, Columbus Family Dental, and the Beaver Dam Unified School District. When it comes to a winning lineup, turn to the selection of new and pre-owned vehicles at Napleton GM in Beaver Dam. Their team goes the extra mile to provide a winning experience from hassle-free financing options to exceptional customer service. It's like having a dedicated cheering section cheering you on in every step of the vehicle purchase. Give the team at Napleton GM in Beaver Dam a call at 920-885-3301 or visit napleton151.com and find new roads with their winning inventory. Welcome back to High School Bowling here on Daily Dodge TV. It's Beaver Dam and Lomira going at it. Corey Sparks, Wade Bates with you. That's presented by Hometown Glass and Improvement, Columbus Family Dental, Beaver Dam Unified School District. But if it's your first time watching bowling in a bit, you're probably wondering, okay, Beaver Dam just punched their ticket to state. Why are they still going? For individual results and individual, I guess, tickets to state as well, for the sake of statistics and all that good stuff, uh, still got to bowl this ninth game. So these two teams got to rack it together. And uh, bowl one final game. It doesn't have team state implications, but for those in the higher, you know, rankings for fill percentage, they're, they're still going to try and put their best foot forward. How so, do you recover from this? Way? <laughs> like, they all just celebrate. <laughs> you don't see that in sports, no, right? Yeah, get out and go. You know, like, that's like game seven of the World Series, or game six of the World Series. They're going to play game seven. Yeah, you clinched already, but go back out there. What an effort by this Lomira team, though, as they tried to. Oh, my goodness. They got back into this thing. I mean, yeah, 194, 193, that's what they put up on the scoreboard with their backs against the wall, and... It was a gritty game, game eight, but they put Beaver Dam in a situation where it came down to the final ball and Anacol answered the bell, and then some. So here's Katie Lee. Yeah, so now you gotta pull everything back in and bowl another game. So <laughs> that's yeah. definitely, definitely a format that's pretty unique to the sport. For Lomira, Delinda Oleg, and yeah, she's the lone senior, so she's bowling her last frames here unless she makes uh, an individual qualification. So looking to savor these last couple of frames for her. And Lomira looking to savor this last game. End everything on a high note. We'll have to get it up there. I know Beaver Dam had an individual goal bowler on the boys' side that, uh, that was in line for maybe an at-large bid to state. We'll have to catch up with uh, Coach Monheim and see where where they're at. Yeah, Adam Paul is in contention. It depends on kind of what he does today. And Garrett Betcher all but had his ticket punched pretty much. So leading the way with a, a fill percentage of 84%. So huge shout out to that team, everything they've done this season and today. Lomira is, is hammering through their balls right now. Yeah. They just, obviously they want to just get through. Right. Yeah, it's a tough situation to be in when you know the season's done and you, you still got another game to bowl. But... They should hold their heads high, like you said, Wade, to be down 4-1 to one and bring it to literally the last ball of the eighth game is not something a lot of groups really have it in them to do. So tons of credit to everybody over there on that Lamira staff. Ola comes back and hammers a strike. Yep. The emotions flying. Yeah, like you're wiping the tears, and then you got to go up and throw another ball. That, if that doesn't form character, I'm not sure what does. 
put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears and hours, week after week after week, and to get to this spot, come up short, it's not easy at all. But they gave Beaver Dam a fight and then some. Put Steiner's, together a nice last game, too. Steiner just hammered there in the sixth. Beaver Dam's in the third frame. Yeah, right this now. is. Beaver Dam might just, like, get to the fifth or sixth and then go. Because they're going through different emotions, right? Yep. Like, oh, my goodness. Season's not done, but we, we do need to get through this game, too. Yeah. Polar opposite feels about three or four feet from one another. Bennett, Columbus is they're, they're bowling here. I mean, you should say Lamira. They're bowling here, and they uh, they're still bowling a pretty good round here. They got a good good ninth going. Yeah, they've put some great scores together. We've got 194, 193, 169 in the second game. This match had that feeling from game one, Wade, where it was 156 to 151. Of no one's blowing anybody out here. It's going to be close, and it has been. Well, Lamira right now has six of their seven have been closed here in this, this ninth ninth match and they're just kind of going up there and, and Beaver Dam is taking their time. They're still in the fourth. Right. And why not go out with a bang if you're Lamira, right? Let's go throw a 200 score up there. Show what we're made of one more time. But yeah, they're cruising. Heading into the eighth. Beaver Dam still finishing up their fourth. Appreciate Justin Wilski and Ember Wilski uh, giving up their Sunday morning into the afternoon yes. for this thing. Agreed. A lot went into setting up this operation. It has not been done before, and knock on any wood I can find nearby, I think for all intents and purposes, it's gone pretty yeah, well. Yeah, we kind so. of figured out a few things here doing bowling, and we'll definitely be back next year for at least one, right? Oh, yeah. Has been a blast. Not done yet, though. Lamira's posting a good score here. Alvarez working on that tough seven pin. Just misses to the right. Just confirmed Coach Janice is going to come up and talk to you, Corey, after they're, they're done. Yeah, we'll kick it aside for a quick break, and then we'll go into yep. post game. be good to get her insight on everything this group has put into their season and how emotional of a moment that must have been for it to come down to one ball. Van de Kolk needs seven, gets eight, performs just enough. That should be something to look forward to for sure. And we're rolling the ninth game here for individual purposes. There's Riley Tesh. Oleg throwing her second in the ninth, and she oh, tried to pick oh. up the spare. Why not, right? The 9-7 left an open frame. They're going to the McKinstry's 10th for Lomira, their last still what frame of the season uh, as a team. Yep, as a team, as a collective, this is it. It's fitting that it ends with Oleg, someone who's really shown out, games one to nine. And they're comfortably on top of it in this. Uh... Oh, yeah, they're, they're bowling another nice game here. Be nice to see him get one more strike if Oleg can clean up here. She'll give herself a last bowl. Beavers are still in the sixth. Nice pick up by Oleg. She'll have one final bowl for Lomira's team season. Getting some claps from her squad there. Raya Sutton throwing her second in the sixth. Almost yanked that one to the left, but just got it. Yeah, wait, I feel like for Beaver Dan, they're just still trying to process what just happened. <laughs> like that, a lot led up to that one moment. It has come and gone, but yeah, they're moving on. Here's Oleg. To finish Lamira's season, puts up seven. 168. Maybe 168 eight. taps for Justin Wilski that we appreciate <laughs> on the scores. So we got eight, nine, and ten left for Beaver Dam, who's heading to state in the Schwabenon. Our own Jesse Nelson is on the call for uh, the state tournament. There we go. Maybe he'll bring you up there. He may have watched this a little bit, uh, Corey. Maybe he can free you up for that. Yeah, we'll see. 
I would love to do that. That'd be a lot of fun, actually. He's got a seat for me. Wouldn't mind it. Send him a tape. <laughs> I know he's been watching a little bit here. Right. Yeah, that's going to be something, bringing out the best in the state and knowing that Beaver Dam, just down the street from their high school, was able to clinch a spot today. Very special moment for them. Three frames left here. We've got Katie Lee is the GOAT on YouTube. She's shown up today. Her team's shown up. Cam Elbert showed up today, too. Had some big uh, strikes to in the first frame in a few of these games. Oh, yeah. A lot of people talk about the anchor, but the first and sixth frames, especially that first one, you are you're setting the tempo. If you go out and drop six pins and leave the frame open, it, it's going to be a tough act to follow. But, yeah, you could start the momentum off in the right way. That's important. And Albert has done that time and time again, especially these last couple games. So we got the ninth and the tenth here off of that Albert strike. And uh, Jennifer Bennett going to see if she can strike out. Five in a row would be cool, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Need two here. Going to have to cross over. And she does it. The emotions flying free on both ends. Lots of hugs, tears. Uh, Riley Tesh going to bowl the tenth. Oh, yeah, there we go. Tesh, the freshman, youngest on this squad. Gets to put a bow on this one. And that's a pretty good way to start the 10th frame. Come on, Lex. Another one. one good ball, and Beaver Dam can make it 6-3 to three in this match. There's nine. And that's going to be second highest score Beaver Dam has put up today, at least in this nine-game match. Last ball. Finds the nine. And Beaver Dam, once again, you are going to state in a Schwabenon. They take game nine, 181 to 168. And they take the match as a whole, six to three. We will step aside for a... Four minute break here on Daily Dodge TV, and then we will have Callista Janice, the head coach for Beaver Dam Girls Bowling, here to talk about the experience of getting to state. This is High School Bowling on Daily Dodge TV, presented to you by Hometown Glass and Improvement, Columbus Family Dental, and the Beaver Dam Unified School District. American drivers overpay an average of $368 per year on their auto insurance. Why? Because, well, insurance is hard, it's complicated, it's time consuming to get quotes from multiple companies, so we overpay. Or we call Richards Insurance in Beaver Dam. Make one call and receive a quote from a great company like Auto Owners Insurance. The team at Richards Insurance will literally do all the work for you. So if you could be saving money each month with an Auto Owners Insurance policy, you'll know about it. How much will you save with Richards Insurance? To find out, call Richards Insurance or stop in at 123 North Spring Street, downtown Beaver Dam. With offices in Columbus, Watertown, West Bend, and Oshkosh. With over 50 employees and hundreds of years insurance experience across five offices, you'll get full service counseling with no obligation. Your auto owner's insurance carrier is Richards Insurance in Beaver Dam. Call 887-1615. We'll be there with you. Richards Insurance of Beaver Dam. At Preferred Dental Partners, our core values are more than just something we put on our wall. They're something we live out. Core value number two is the wow experience. This means that from the moment you walk in the door until the time you leave, we want to provide an experience for our patients that is unlike anything you've had before. There are lots of choices of dentists, and we never want anyone to feel they have to be here. We want them to choose to be here because they feel heard, welcomed, and well cared for. If you want to see what the wow experience is about, call or text Preferred Dental Partners today. Hi, this is Sandy from McKinstry's Home Furnishings in downtown Beaver Dam. We are proud to support all Beaver Dam athletes. While at home watching high school sports, why not be comfortable? McKinstry's is a Lazy Boy comfort studio. We have sofas, recliners, sectionals, and reclining sofas. 
Stop into McKinstry's Home Furnishings in downtown Beaver Dam and add comfort to your home. Is selling your home like a walk in the park? If you are in Central Park at 2 a.m., maybe. Chris Kladowski, Kladowski Real Estate. When it is time to sell, be it due to loss or love, growth or downsizing, staying near or going far, there are three basic steps. List it, sell it, move on. The steps are made simple by working with a trusted real estate advisor. Our family team is with you every step of the way, making those three steps as smooth and fun as possible. Kladowski Real Estate. We look forward to serving you. Jerry's Automotive in Beaverdam is a champion of our local schools. Team up with Jerry's Automotive by pumping your gas at their Spirit Pump, where two cents of every gallon is donated to a local school each month. Jerry's Automotive also provides exceptional vehicle service and repairs and a great selection of convenience items. Visit Jerry's Automotive Center WI.com and on Facebook. Jerry's Automotive, 700 North Spring Street in Beaverdam, across the street from Beaverdam Food Pride. Cheer. Now cheer louder. Any accomplishment worth doing is worth doing with all your heart and soul. The entire team at Hometown Glass and Improvement knows that dedication, time, and respect can lead to greatness. When practicing free throws, running for a touchdown, or installing new windows and doors, it is commitment to something larger than oneself that creates a legacy. So keep cheering for your hometown team. Hometown Glass and Improvement, online at hometownglass.com. Hi, this is Dr. Adam Forster at Columbus Family Dental. If you've been unhappy with your smile, it's time that you come and see us. Our team of doctors are waiting to help you get your smile back. We'll take the time to talk with you and treat you like a member of our family, not just another number. Whether it's a whole mouth makeover or simply a little tweak, we'll find the right solution that fits you. For your free, no pressure consultation, call us today at 623 5559. The teams at Beaverdam and Mayville Tire and Service are growing and adding service technicians and auto lube technicians. Work in a clean shop environment with a fun and friendly team that is committed to excellence and customer satisfaction. Competitive pay based on experience, full benefits, including health, dental, 401k. Join the growing team at Beaverdam and Mayville Tire and Service. Find full job postings on Facebook or visit either location to submit your resume. Are you ready for peace of mind? Chad Guzzi here, owner of Air Care in Beaver Dam. If you're tired of unexpected repair bills, you want to sign up for our Total Care plan. It ensures top performance and prolonged life of your heating and air conditioning equipment. Air Care's Total Care customers receive annual inspections as well as a reduced maintenance rate plus a 10% discount on all service repairs. Air Care, big enough to serve you, small enough to care, 920-356-8860. You're watching the Daily Dodge Post Game Show. Welcome back to the Daily Dodge Post Game Show. This is high school bowling here on Daily Dodge TV. Corey Sparks with you following the 6-3 to three and state clinching victory for Beaver Dan. They're going to a Schwabenon. I'm here with head coach Calista Janis following a very emotional moment. Calista, congratulations, and can you just kind of talk you. about that moment at the end there? Um, well, when... We were down to the last game, uh, in the eighth game. It it was very overwhelming. A lot of it is a lot of in your head nerves, a lot of um, slow down, think about what you're doing, go up and throw a good shot. I tell the girls all the time if you ever feel like shaking, overwhelmed, or you're just straight up nervous, you need to take a deep breath. And we practice that every single time before every match. I always make them hold a breath for a really long time until they're laughing, and then it gets them back into their heads um, that last game where we won it it was definitely it was definitely neck to neck so they were definitely in their heads but it was great they did really well and um, yeah I'm very I'm very proud of how that ended they did really well as you should be Alexis Van de Kolk was the person put in that position she needed seven pins to clinch she put up eight did you say anything to her before that last roll and if you did what was it I told her, um, <laughs> well, I told her, Lexi, take a deep breath, go up there and throw, throw a good shot, just keep it up there. And I was like, 
we need we need a good shot from you. Um, honestly, like I can't fully remember everything I said. It, it was um, <laughs> when she picked up her spare. We were all cheering really loud for her, and then it got down to that last shot. She just needed to keep it on the lane. I said, Lexi, you're good. Take a deep breath. Just throw it. And then she's like, yeah, I got you. I got you. She's gotcha. always, that's her response all the time. It's good. Just pushing that confidence into her. Can you kind of talk about the fight that Lomira put up? You were up 4-1 to one on the cusp of going to a Schwabanon, going into game six, and they fought back. 194, 193. Can you talk about just the effort they put on the on the planes today? Lomira girls team is definitely something to mess with. We bowled them um, a few months ago, I believe, and they beat us then. And they put up a huge fight. They are they are the girls in this district that will cheer with us, will be just as loud with us, and they they are a great team to bowl with. And I am glad that it was neck to neck with them because those are a good group of girls, good team, and their fight, they are ones that can definitely come back. That's how they won last time as they came back. Um, but it was def it definitely made my girls bowl harder. They bowled harder. It, I'm definitely glad it was with them, for sure. And, Coach, they were the back half of a marathon. Like, you played nine games before this to wrap up the regular season, going up against Columbus. Can you kind of just talk about the break in between the two games and then the mindset of, all right, when and we're in, what were you, you saying to your group about this final matchup, best of nine against Lamira? Well, uh, do you mean like before we started this match yep. originally or when they lost those two games against them? I would say before you started the whole match, knowing like this is a win and you're in scenario, what were the conversations kind of happening before Yeah, before you took on Lamira? <laughs> so I said, I said to the girls, I was like, this is for all the beans, this is for all the berries. You need, <laughs> you need to. <laughs> I was like, you show them you want this. Um, show me, show everybody on the live stream, show everybody that came for you today that you want to be the, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to cry. No, you're I'm, completely okay. I, I'm so proud of them. They finally really showed today how much they really wanted to win this, and they did. Um, I told them that they need to go out there, throw their best shot, throw their best um, ball, they need to pick up their spares, be consistent because they know how to do it. So show everybody else that they know too. And I'm very proud of it. They did. Absolutely. They did just that. So you've got a few hours left of the weekend now and then mm -hmm. you get to settle down and, and prep for state. What does the next week look like for you? Um, well, next week we'll definitely be prepping for state. Um, we're probably going to be looking at um, more complicated shots like oil patterns for state and thinking about what we did in previous years and then we'll try to put that on the lanes here at tower and get them working on um, their accuracy and what they're going to do for state absolutely well coach janice congrats to you congrats to the team hard Thank fought you. battle beaver dam wins six to three over <laughs> lomira folks we'll step aside for a one minute break here on daily dodge tv presented by hometown glass and improvement columbus family dental and the beaver dam unified school district high school sports are as american as apple pie and going to a game or meet is a chance to see the stars of tomorrow shine today. But as anybody who's ever attended a high school sporting event in Wisconsin knows, you can't have the stars without the stripes. High schools are currently looking for new officials in almost every sport. Who looks good in stripes? Anybody looking for a way to stay connected to a sport they love. If you like the idea of giving back to your community while earning a few extra bucks, Chances are you'd look good in stripes, too. We want to hear from you. We need to hear from you. No officials means no games. No stripes means no stars. And what kind of America would that be? Wisconsin needs more high school officials. Go to highschoolofficials.com to sign up or learn more. That's highschoolofficials.com. You're watching the Daily Dodge Post Game Show. Welcome back to the Daily Dodge Post Game Show. High School Bowling on here for the first time. It went pretty well, and it definitely went very well for Beaver Dam, taking down Lamira in a win in your in scenario to get to a Schwabanon next week. Beaver Dam prevails, was up 4 1, ended up being 4 3, came down to a scenario where Alexis Van de Kolk needed seven pins. She got eight. The team exploded. Emotional moment. Head coach Calista Janis, very emotional as well, just proud of her group and all the fight that they've put in leading up to this day, which is a very special one for them. 
been a pleasure to be on this one with you, Corey Sparks and Wade Bates. Wade, it was a blast. Oh, this was fun. You know, we've been trying to get a bowling event on the air for the last couple of years since we had the incarnation of Daily Dodge TV and finally able to get one. It was an exciting one here at, at Tower Lanes, and uh, we're going to definitely have this on the docket. Uh, it's going to become a regular occurrence. Yeah, it was a blast for sure. One final huge thank you to our presenting video sponsors. That would be Hometown Glass and Improvement. Columbus Family Dental, the Beaver Dam Unified School District. Also, thank you to our high school sports sponsors. That's McKinstry's Home Furnishings, Kodowski Real Estate, Slumberland, Silica for Your Home, Summit Ford, Beaver Dam Mayville Tire and Service, Surefire, Richards Insurance, Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, the Park Village Shopping Center, Preferred Dental Partners, Jerry's Automotive, Air Care, Napleton GM, Beaver Dam, and White Construction for Wade Bates. I'm Corey Sparks. We also need to thank Tower Lanes for maybe yes. make, helping us get this broadcast off the air. Ben and the staff here did a great job. Yes. You know, we've been trying to get it, make it happen. Mike Monheim did a great job of helping us line this up as well, Corey. But, uh, boy, this is fun today. Yeah, thank you so much to Tower Lanes. Thank you to Coach Mike. I mean, every every party just mentioned, especially Justin Wilski, for helping us set up the logistics of this stream, the venue, the coaches, everybody, thank you for making this happen. We hope to be back. Your final score one more time in a win and you're in scenario. Beaver Dam takes the cake 6-3 to three over Lomira. This has been another Daily Dodge High School Sports production brought to you by Hometown Glass and Improvement, Columbus Family Dental, and the Beaver Dam Unified School District. You're watching the Daily Dodge postgame show.